Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and this is it. This is the final video in the Iron Man build series. Uh, it's been 100 issues and some base and stand issues as well, but this is it. This is the final bit. Uh, this is most of the components, um, apart from the legs, which I do have here. But uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be looking at the different poses, and I'll get some photos and video of him set up in his different positions. So uh, yeah, uh, basically there's four positions designed for it, although these two are just twisting a different direction. So I won't be doing both of those. I should put them aside and use one another time maybe, but yeah, there's one standing position, one twisted standing position, and the two sort of hero positions, the, the landing knee positions, which are those ones. But to begin with, let's get him standing up straight. So that needs, uh, not that bit, it needs the, the main abdomen section, which clips in. Now these are a little bit difficult in that they say you should take off the front panel, which is under little clips that you have to push in place and then screw in place. You don't actually need to, or at least I've found that I don't need to, because there is plenty of give to it. If you're careful, you can position that up because this fits underneath there and then Clips in place. I don't know if you heard that clip. That was it, clipping in place. That's that there, nice and easy. Uh, now this bit, again, just clips in the bottom there. But before we do that, the legs. Let me let me talk about his legs for a little while. Let me move these out of the way. We'll come back to those. Uh, now, the legs are here. It says to screw the legs in place, which is what this hole here is for. And it goes all the way through, sort of in the middle of the groin area, and is difficult to get to. As far as I can tell, I really don't need to worry about that. Because when this goes on there, it clips in at the back. And as he's going to be standing up, I don't think that's not clipped in at the back yet. There we go, nearly there. That done. Let me move him around a bit. This button there. Yeah, there we go. That is him clipped in at the back. But it's not as secure as it should be because I've not put that screw in. But as he's going to be standing up and not played with, I don't need to worry about that being a little bit loose because all of the weight is going to be pushing it down anyway, which is where it needs to be. So I'm not going to bother with that. All we need to do then is clip that piece into that piece, which is literally as easy as it says. Uh, but before I do that, I will show you the release mechanism, uh, which is as easy as it looks. Uh, all you've got to do is push the button. Now there's a button there, which is for releasing uh, the bit below. Yeah, that's been releasing the bit below. This, this, I can't remember now. Yeah, that, that button will release this piece, this piece will release the next bit down, which isn't there at the moment. So you need to push that, and then that unclips, just like so. So let me get him together, I'll get him standing up, and we'll see what he looks like. Okay, here we have him, all in his glory. I'll put a picture of the entire thing in, but it will be upright video rather than this way around. So uh, yeah, there we have. Iron Man in his normal just standing up pose which is fine it's okay it's a little bit boring but you can obviously adjust the arms and have him doing the proper you know uh, handout thing uh, the button on the back of the glove will turn that light on so yeah you can pose all of it obviously all the fingers are poseable and everything so yes that is the standard standing up position so now I shall change out the abdomen to put him in the slightly twisted position, which is a little bit strange, but we'll see what that looks like in just a moment. So position B is the very strange, just a slightly twisted and leaning forward a little bit pose. I'm not sure exactly what this one's supposed to signify, and I don't like it. So I'm not going to dwell on it. That is that. The legs are obviously exactly the same. It's just the chest, the abdomen piece that's changed and given him that strange I don't know exactly what's going on, pose. So, uh, yeah. 
And finally, the superhero landing pose. I couldn't get it to look any better than that. It, it's not great. I, I just can't get him to balance or stand. I could use the clip, but it just isn't quite right. I think I need to tighten up his arm as well, because this is just a little bit floppier than it used to be. So, uh, all in all, I think he's going to be standing up for the most of his life, because that just looks a bit rough. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'll put him back standing up. So, yes, uh, it poses. It, it doesn't look much like it does in the pictures. That's sort of what I was going for in that last one. Um, although the other way round, I think, but doesn't matter. Either way, it should work, but doesn't. It does say you might need to use blue tech or similar under his feet, knee and fist. That might help, but you shouldn't have to. I might need to just get the angles right, but I, I shall put him back standing up and he shall stand up, maybe with his arm outstretched like the power pose. But yeah, um, in theory, it's a great idea. In practice, I think it would have been better just to do it in the single pose, cut down the number of issues. Or, I don't know. But all in all, it's been a good, fun build. I've enjoyed every moment of it. Well, not every moment, most moments of it. So, yes, that was 100 issues of Iron Man. Thank you very much for joining me on this build. Uh, do leave a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, don't bother telling me that the last pose are rubbish. I know that already. But thank you all very much for joining me on this. Join me for the next build, whatever it may be. And I shall see you soon over there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching.